So the tech world just got a major surprise, and this one's coming straight from Samsung's own Galaxy S24 Ultra, running One UI 7.0. That's right. At the Samsung Developer Conference, SDC, held earlier in October in the US, we got our first official hands-on of the Galaxy S24 Ultra running One UI 7.0 based on Android 15. But things just took an even more interesting turn. Recently, a YouTuber managed to get their hands on an engineering sample of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, preloaded with this very one UI 7.0, and they uploaded a video showcasing the new changes and features. And not just any video, this is the high definition demo of one UI 7.0 in action. Now, this video initially slipped through the cracks when it was uploaded on October 22. In fact, it garnered less than 1,800 views in the first two days, which is honestly surprising considering the content it contains. However, that's likely about to change as more and more publications have started paying up on this and spreading the word. And with that comes the possibility of Samsung stepping in and filing a copyright claim to have the video taken down. Uh, the fact that this video exists raises some interesting questions. If Samsung didn't want anyone to see One UI 7.0 before its official release, why was the Galaxy S24 Ultra running it left out of the open at the SDC event? We all know the Galaxy S25 series is set to officially debut with One UI 7.0 next year, so could this leak be a sign that Samsung is relaxed about people getting a sneak peek? Regardless of whether the video gets taken down, we've made sure to take screenshots of the key sections to give you a closer look at what's new. The screenshots are now available in our gallery below. Unfortunately, much of what we're seeing in this video has been teased before, so it doesn't offer too many brand new insights, but it's still worth checking out to see the latest in action. So what's new in One UI 7.0? Well, it's not just the design language that's been tweaked, it's the whole experience. Android 15 brings several performance and privacy improvements, and One UI 7.0 has been designed to take full advantage of those upgrades. From smoother animations to a more customizable interface, the overall experience feels fresh yet familiar. While the demo video doesn't reveal everything, we can expect features like enhanced multitasking, better integration of Samsung apps, and possibly new camera features given the hardware capabilities of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. As we look forward to the beta program for One UI 7.0, which should be going live in the coming months, it's great to get this sneak peek. And for those wondering if their device will be eligible for this update, Samsung has yet to release an official list. However, if you're curious about the unofficial eligibility, you can check out a list that details which Galaxy devices might get One UI 7.0 and Android 15. Whether the YouTuber's video remains online or not, this early glimpse of One UI 7.0 gives us an exciting look at what Samsung has in store for its next generation devices. The Galaxy S25 series may still be a few months away, but the hype is already starting to build with leaks like this. So what do you think about this sneak peek? Are you looking forward to trying out One UI 7.0? Let us know in the comments below. Samsung has finally removed all doubts about a new Galaxy Z Fold model arriving this year. If the leaks hadn't convinced you yet, today's announcement confirms it. The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition is real and it's arriving soon. But now the big question is, how does this special edition differ from the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which was released just a few months ago? One of the first differences between these two foldables is their availability. While the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is available in various markets around the world, the special edition might be harder to get. Samsung has only announced it in South Korea so far with plans for it to reach China next. If you're in the West or other regions where the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is sold, you may not see this special edition on store shelves anytime soon. Samsung describes the special edition as the thinnest and lightest Galaxy Fold ever made. Measuring just 10.6 millimeters when folded, it's slightly thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which comes in at 12.1 millimeters. Additionally, it weighs 236 grams compared to the Fold 6 239 grams. Not a huge difference, but notable for those who prioritize portability. When it comes to dimensions, the special edition is wider than the Fold 6, both when folded and unfolded. This difference gives it a broader display, making it more user-friendly for those who are used to regular smartphones. The unfolded dimensions of the special edition are 157.9, 142.6x 4.9 millimeters, while the Fold 6 measures 153.5x 132.6x 5.6 millimeters. The wider design also leads to different aspect ratios. The special edition boasts a 2018 aspect ratio for its main display, while the Fold 6 uses a more traditional 4 to 3 ratio. 
This wider layout offers a slightly better experience for tasks like multitasking or viewing content. Samsung hasn't revealed much about any potential upgrades to the displays. However, we do know the special edition has an 8.0 inch main display and a 6.5 inch cover screen. In comparison, the Fold 6 has a 7.6 inch main display and a 6.3 inch cover screen. Both phones likely support 120 Hertz refresh rates, but Samsung hasn't confirmed this. In terms of durability, the special edition is made with Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for extra protection and features a distinctive stripe pattern on the back. Its frame is made from armor aluminum, ensuring it stays tough against everyday wear and tear. One surprising difference is the lack of S Pen support on the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition. Samsung confirmed this on their South Korean store page. On the other hand, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 does support the S Pen, making it the better choice for fans of Samsung's iconic stylus, even though it requires a separate purchase and doesn't have a built-in slot for storage. If the S Pen isn't a priority for you, the Special Edition might still be appealing, but it's worth considering this omission before making a decision. Both phones pack serious power under the hood. They share the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chipset, which first appeared in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This powerful chip ensures that both devices can handle demanding tasks with ease. However, the Special Edition stands out by offering 16GB of RAM as standard, whereas the Fold 6 comes with 12GB. This extra RAM helps the Special Edition manage tasks like Galaxy AI more efficiently. The Special Edition also ships with 512GB of internal storage, whereas the Fold 6 gives you options of 256GB, 512GB, or 1TB. As for the battery, both models have a 4400MA unit, although Samsung hasn't mentioned if charging speeds differ between them. One of the most notable upgrades on the Special Edition is the primary camera. The Special Edition is equipped with a 200MP main camera, compared to the 50MP sensor on the Fold 6. This upgrade is significant and could be a game changer for those who prioritize photography on their foldable device. Other camera specs remain similar across both devices, including the telephoto lens and the 4 megapixel under panel camera. The special edition also has an advantage when it comes to connectivity as it supports Wi-Fi 7. This feature is only found on a few other Samsung devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, while the Fold 6 tops out at Wi-Fi 6E. Now, what about the price? The Special Edition will cost approximately $300 more than the Fold 6. In South Korea, the Special Edition will be priced at around 2,789,600 won or $2,036, while the 512GB Fold 6 goes for 2,388,100 won or $1,743. Ultimately, the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition brings some exciting upgrades like a larger display, 16GB of RAM, and a 200 megapixel camera. But if S Pen support is important to you, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 might still be the better choice. Either way, both of these foldables are top tier devices, each with its own strength.